This banjo video will help you repair your 1.5 inch, 2 inch, and 3 inch poly self priming centrifugal pump equipped with electric motor. Follow these steps for disassembling. First, please loosen the four base plate bolts before beginning. Remove the 10 body screws, lock washers, and nuts from the pump assembly. Now remove the body from the pump assembly. Unscrew two plugs to check O-rings and replace if necessary. Remove the check valve from the volute. Remove the one upper volute screw and the two smaller volute screws. Now remove the volute from the remaining pump assembly. Remove the impeller bolt and gasket from the impeller. Screw a 7 16 to 14 hex head cap screw into the impeller snout. As the bolt is tightened, the impeller will be pried off of the shaft of the drive unit. Remove the 7 16 to 14 screw once the impeller has been removed from the drive unit. Remove impeller hex nut and impeller key, examine and replace if necessary. If the pump impeller is going to be reused, the ceramic seal half should be removed from the impeller at this time. Using a screwdriver or wrench, gently wedge the seal out of the impeller. Please use caution when removing ceramic seal to prevent any damage. Remove the O-ring segment at this time. Remove the four rear bracket screws, rear bracket washers, and screw head O-rings from the rear bracket using a half-inch socket. With the four rear bracket screws removed, the rear bracket can now be removed from the drive unit. Remove the body O-ring at this time. Remove the carbon seal half from the rear bracket. This may be done by using a round object such as a wrench socket and by tapping it gently with a hammer. The seal is very fragile so take care not to crack the seal if it will be reused. Now remove the o-ring from seal. Remove shim if shim is included. Remove four bolts on adapter spacer and remove your spacer with the pump completely disassembled Clean all of the reusable parts thoroughly, removing any traces of old gasket material and trapped or dried liquids that were run through the pump. At this time, it may be necessary to polish the drive unit shaft to remove any corrosion that may have formed. Follow these steps for assembling. Install four bolts after replacing adapter spacer and replace the shim if one is included. Place the replacement seal o-ring behind the lip of the carbon seal half. The carbon seal half should now be installed into the rear bracket. To install the carbon seal half into the rear bracket, use a tool such as a one and a half inch pipe nipple or arbor press to give even pressure on the metal flange of the seal housing during installation. Gently hammer the seal into position until it bottoms. Place body o-ring onto rear bracket. After lubricating the four rear bracket screws with anti-seize to prevent galling, install the rear bracket onto the drive unit using the rear bracket screws, flat washers, and replacement O-rings. The handle of the rear bracket should be to the top of the drive unit. Tighten the screws securely. Install the O-ring segment onto rear bracket after lubricating with petroleum jelly. Install the ceramic seal half into the impeller. Be careful when handling the seal to not scratch the seal surface. The outside diameter of the rubber boot may be sparingly coated with silicone to ease installation. The seal half is pressed into the hub of the impeller by hand, but make sure to press uniformly. It's important to be absolutely sure that the ceramic seal half is bottomed out and installed squarely. If the installation is not square, seal wobble will occur leading to premature seal failure. Place the hex nut, then impeller key in the slot located inside the impeller snout. The impeller is now ready to be slid onto the drive unit shaft. The O-ring may be sparingly lubricated with silicone to ease installation of the pump body in the next step. Secure the impeller to the drive unit shaft with the impeller bolt gasket and impeller bolt. Tighten the impeller bolt until snug. Install the volute into the rear bracket using the three volute screws. Now a warning. Before completing next step, 
make sure electric motor is disconnected from power source. The impeller should be turned over a few times by hand to check for clearance between the impeller and volute. A small amount of drag between the impeller and volute or impeller and rear bracket will cause no problem. However, if the impeller will not turn over because of a lack of clearance, a rear bracket shim or impeller shim may have to be used. Install the check valve onto the snout of the volute. Install the pump body with the outlet flange facing up. Install the 10 body screws, lock washers, and nuts to secure the pump body to the rear bracket. Cross tighten securely all the way around. Finally, tighten the four base plate bolts at this time. The pump is now ready for operation.